Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. District renames school after Barack Obama to replace racist conservatives' name. Guess who was there first? The historical revisionists are at it again. This time in Richmond, Virginia. Pandering to the politically correct, the race baiters, and the historically deficient Richmond Public Schools Superintendent Jason Kamara's pledged that his job is to make sure students have a safe environment to learn. I see it as my job to start turning over all these rocks, and when I see snakes, I just got to step on them and take care of it for the kids and families of RPS. And I'm going to keep doing that, Commerce said. Apparently, one of those snakes is an elementary school formerly named after one of the greatest cavalry commanders in American history, James Ewell Brown Jeb Stewart, at least according to Commerce. The Richmond School Board voted to change the name of J.E.B. Stewart Elementary to Barack Obama Elementary School on June 18, 2018 in a vote of 6 to 1. Kamara's commented on the decision to rename the school, It's incredibly powerful that in the capital of the Confederacy, where we had a school named for an individual who fought to maintain slavery, that now we're renaming that school after the first black president. A lot of our kids and our kids at J.E.B. Stewart see themselves in Barack Obama. The student population of the newly named Barack Obama Elementary School is made up of primarily black children. However, Many others see this as just the latest in a series of efforts to remove, rewrite, and obliterate American history. For example, Stewart himself is a notable historical figure, graduating from West Point in 1854 and serving as a veteran of the frontier conflicts with Native Americans and the violence that erupted known as Bleeding Kansas. He also participated in the capture of John Brown at Harper's Ferry in the lead-up to the Civil War. He resigned his commission with the U.S. Army as many others did when his home state of Virginia chose to secede choosing to defend his home with the Confederate Army. He originally served under General Stonewall Jackson in the Shenandoah Valley, growing in increasingly important cavalry commands in the Army of Northern Virginia. He played a significant role in the campaigns of that army until his death at the Battle of Yellow Tavern. A good man and a notable historical figure, Stewart deserves to be remembered as such. By contrast, former President Barack Obama is shrouded in scandal and we are even now still uncovering the true depth and breadth of its scandal as the constitutional abuses perpetrated by means of the FISA court using the salacious and fictional Steele dossier as proof continue to come to light. Yet the selective outrage remains. The question begs to be asked while we are continuing to remove monuments and statues, rename schools, and all manner of other destruction and desecration of history. Just when exactly are the monuments to alleged child sex predator Harvey Milk going to be removed from San Francisco? When are the schools and the naval ships named in his honor going to be renamed? Or what of the statue erected in honor of mass murderer and genocidal maniac Vladimir Lenin in Seattle? When is that coming down? Or the bust of mass murderer and eugenics proponent Margaret Sanger? The woman that once proudly spoke before the KKK extolling the virtues of racial and socioeconomic genocide sits in and place of honor in the National Portraits Institute. When is that coming down? Why the selective outrage? History is history. We learn from all of it, whether for good or for ill. The most effective way to destroy a people is to effectively destroy their understanding of their own history. Orwell knew what he was talking about. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.